So we've all as kids played with uh, this little magnifying glass that is at home. So you take it and put it under the sun. You will probably notice that you know you keep it at the right distance from a piece of paper. You can end up burning the piece of paper. If you haven't done this, it's about time you try. Right? It's fascinating, right? All of a sudden, just by using a piece of glass, you're able to create fire. Now, what exactly are we doing here? Now, you might have heard your parents or someone say, "All of the sun's light, along which means also its heat, is getting focused onto a point, and therefore the paper starts to burn." Now, what is that word we used here? Focus. We already used this in mirrors, and we kind of told you that we will explain this in a very deep manner. So, whenever we have what's called a focusing system, what's really happening? Lots of rays are getting focused on to one single point. Now, let us see if we can try and explain this in a way that probably you wouldn't see anywhere else. Let's ask this question. What is the only thing we know about light? Between two points, it will take the quickest path. Great. So if there is only one quickest path. What will light do? It will take only that path. So how can we make from one point to another point? Lots of rays that leave have to come back again over here. And what does it mean when that happens? We say that the image of this this point is this point. That's what we say, right? What is an image? Rays starting from a point meet again at a different point. Then the second point is the image of the first point. But how do we do this? How do I make that make it so that many rays are going to meet again? What is the from our Fermat's principle of least time? What should this mean? If all these rays are meeting again, and if let's say one of those paths is quicker than all the other paths, what would happen? Would light take any of the other paths? It wouldn't, right? It would just take that one path that is really, really quick. But if if light is taking all those paths, what does it mean? It means that the only possibility is that all those paths have Equal times that which which light takes. So what are we trying to say here? Any time I want to focus light onto a point from another point, I have to create paths that all take equal time for light to flow. Makes pretty much good amount of sense. So what is the only principle we're using here as well? The Fermat's principle of least time or lights in a hurry. So if you understand this, what does it really mean? Any time you see light rays meeting at a particular point, it is because all the rays that travel from their source took the same amount of time. Because if they did not, all of them would have taken the point of shortest time or the path of shortest time. So, having said this, let's see if we can apply this to our little game that we played, right? Yeah, with a magnifying lens. We all know how a magnifying lens looks. Lens looks, but let's try to derive it if possible. So, let's take a set of parallel rays, right? Let's say a set of five parallel rays are coming here, and I want to focus them all onto a point over here. Now, I know that the ray over here has to travel a long distance to meet here. Right. If I don't do anything, will it go meet there? So it's going to go continue straight. Right. I need to make it go towards it. Right. The other ray over here, I need to make it go towards here. I need to do this. So what do I start to do? I need to start to construct a way in which I can slow down the the starting ray, the middle ray, so much that by the time it reaches that point, even the top ray will reach. So what am I trying to do? I need to make I I got a thick glass slab over here. What does a glass slab do? It will slow down the light. So great, slows down for a long time and then goes and reaches there. But can I slow all the rays down equally? No, right. This light has to travel a long distance, so I slow down very, very little, almost nothing. So it goes and reaches there. I create one more slightly thicker glass slab over here. So this is going to slow down a little bit more and then it reaches there, and so on. And what is the kind of shape that you form? Very little reduction of speed, slightly more, slightly more, large reduction of speed, and then symmetrically on the other side. So you get a shape that looks pretty familiar, right? Now let me point out something. This is a very, very uncommon way of saying this. There is another way which we'll look at immediately. But if you understand this, what have we done? We've created for all those five rays paths that take equal time for them to reach here. Therefore, they reached there, right? Another common way of looking at this, if you did not or were not comfortable with the old one, is very simple. Imagine this lens to be made up of a set of prisms and one glass slab in the middle. So we know that a prism is going to bend light towards its base. So that does it that way. 